Hello, my superstars. How y'all doing out there today? Thank you for coming to my channel. Now, there's some things that we need to do to keep the heart beating on this channel. And that is like, comment, subscribe, share. And please, don't forget to hit that notification button so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Thank you. All right, let's get started. Now, before you today, well, let me just say, I am a little mad today because I ordered these uh, king crab. I'm not going to say from where, but I didn't like them. I like Costco's better. So, I'm just putting my disclaimer out there. But today I have king crab, some corn, lobster tail, Brussels sprouts, um, turkey sausage. Did I say corn? Did I? Oh, eggs. I have some eggs. Anybody and everybody know me know I love eggs. All right. Let's dig in. Let me see. I'm so mad. I can't find that going to... I can't find it. Oh, here's one piece. So here's a piece. They small. I'm so mad. Costco's is so much better. So much better. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Why are you looking at me like that? My kid's dad is here. My ex. He just staring like, how in the hell is she eating all that food? Mm -mm. I'm good. Mm. Turkey sausage. Good too. Oh, I made my own butter sauce. I made it yesterday. Onions, green peppers. Mm, so good. Garlic. So good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Buffalo spout. Hey, good job. Surprisingly. I'm not a Buffalo spout fan. But my girlfriend was like, fix them this way. So I did. She gave me the recipe. And surprisingly, they are good. Mmm. I'm thoroughly pleased. Okay. Oh, I had potato, but I don't know if I'm in the mood for potato. Got a lobster tail. Mm. So, y'all, let me tell y'all. I'm going to tell y'all about something that bothers me a lot about myself it pulls at my heartstrings a little bit I know I, I didn't have to tear it apart like that but I didn't need it all big mm. my hair loss mm 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 that had been a shock to my system. I'm so serious. I started losing my hair like in my late 40s or something like what was thinning. Or whatever. I cut all my hair. I cut my hair bald. Like bald, smooth like a baby behind. And let it grow back. But I saw like in this area it was still not growing back as 
strong as the other sides of my hair. The front, I mean the back, the sides. So I started wearing it natural. But you know, you get tired of the same old look. So, <clears throat> I started wearing weaves. <coughs> Excuse me. That's the pepper. You gotta drink. So I started wearing we use like protective styles or whatever they call them now. Um my hair was going back. It was still thinning. I still had enough up there. <coughs> but for this last time, I decided I'm going to go to this girl who had been doing my hair for a long time. Brussels sprout, so good. Somebody I know. Do my hair. Oh no. And I told her, well, she was doing weaves on me at first, and I got tired of them because I'm not a wig person, really. Like, I just like my hair to be out and breathing. Well, it doesn't matter how it looks, really. As long as I don't like my hair to be constricted. So, but anyway, I told her that I wanted a perm. So, she was like, okay. So, Gave me a perm. And started wearing my hair. I was looking okay at first. I mean, towards that as it started growing and looking better in style. Because I didn't like it at first. But I said, give it some time. I gave it some time. And... I got tired of that. So I told her, because I wanted a different style. So I told her, I said, my hair wasn't looking full, so the style I wanted wouldn't look nice for my hair. I said, so let's um, put a, a cap on. So instead of putting a, so, I mean, the stocking cap on. I had the liquid cap. I felt like the liquid cap, um, she agreed, would be less harsh on my hair. Right? And it wouldn't move around. I mean, how caps do move around. And the glue, it would protect my scalp from the glue. Okay. Well, we did that. Now, when you put the liquid cap on, you have to have a barrier. Well, she did give me a barrier. She put the um the gel on. But after looking at several videos of girls that do hair, I realized. She didn't put a second barrier on my hair. That was in the thin spots where, like, sandy strips or something like that. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but y'all know what I'm saying. The little white strips to hold your hair down when you're under the drive for your edges and stuff. So the first time when I went back after getting the style, after doing all that, I went back, you know, to get it freshen up. I let her take the cap off. And I never even looked at my hair. And I said, how my hair looks? She was like, oh, it's okay. So, oh, God. I trusted her. So now, <clears throat> come the next two weeks, I take it off myself. Something just told me to take it off myself. 
Now, what I failed to mention was I wanted the hot oil treatment. And I think that day I might have had a, a um, touch up perm. And I'm telling you, my hair was itching something furious. Like, I, could, I never felt that before. Even after she washed it. And then so I said, my hair is, um, my scalp is still itchy. I don't know why, I don't know why, I don't know why. So I sat there like a dummy. Do, don't sit there and let people do whatever they want to do. If you know something ain't right, let them know. Excuse me. So I sat there. Throughout the whole two weeks, my head itched and it is so bad. I already snatched that thing off at work. The cat, wig, whatever you want to call it. So it came up time for me to take it off. I took it off. Lord and behold, I almost fell to, to the floor. I was shocked. I, I had so many emotions going on. I can't even tell you all of them. I had, I was bald. Right where you see this thing, I was bald, bald, bald. I mean, I couldn't believe. So I went to her and I told her, I said, oh my God. I said, girl, I said, I took that cap off. I'm bald here. She gonna say, "Oh, it might be what you got going on." Now, I had had some thinning in here last night. Haven't been to the dermatologist. I went twice, and that was years ago, because I had an infection in my scalp. But that since cleared up, and I had hair and everything since then. It scared me so bad, y'all. That I made a point to the dermatologist and scared me so bad because I said, I can't, how in the hell, I'm going to walk through the rest of my life looking like this? I feel some kind of way when I see myself on the side views, you know, but in the front, I don't see the side, I just see the front. So, I'm self-conscious about that, I guess, if that's what you want to say. Anywho, I went to the doctor. They told me I had something called scarring alopecia. Well, I looked that up, and they said, if you got that, your hair will grow back. Well, will always be thin. Okay. Get these little itchy bumps and stuff. Oh, God. Mm. What in the world happened to my hair? I swear somebody put a curse on me. Anyway. So, I bought a look, king crab. Small as I don't know what. So I bought a wig. I hate wigs. The bill put it bluntly. I don't like wigs. But anyway, I bought this wig because I wanted to try to look some kind of way while going to work. I took the wig over there to my hairdresser. I asked her would she um, you know, I don't know, y'all say chop it up or cut it up, whatever, fix it. To a style. Fits my face. She said, yes. I took it over there. Mm. Mm -hmm. I took it over there. She never once said. When I tell y'all it looked like the bird came and pecked all in my head. I was so embarrassed. It was strings of hair because all of this was gone. So the hair that was left was just all the way. She didn't say, let me cut it down. You know, let me treat your hair. She wanted me to really think that the scar alopecia took my hair out. I know better. She realized my hair was coming out because she wasn't doing what she was supposed to have been doing as a hairdresser. And that pissed me off. So now, I'm working on trying to get my hair back. Anywho, 
More of the story. Don't let people do what they want to do to you. And you have to educate your own self. Because these people out here, they have to money some people. Okay. I broke all the ties. <coughs> I don't care. <coughs> oh. I'm getting full. Let me eat some of this corn. You full? No, I'm fine. Was the story boring? You ain't finished it. It's my ear. Hot and you. Oh. It was good. <laughs> I'm a little full though. Mm -hmm. Give my stomach a chance to open up and I'll finish it. Whew. I don't know. Hmm. I might not put this video out. I may may not. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, I messed up King Crab. That this child. I'm kinda of disappointed. Ain't no kinda of I am. Thank you. That's the. Mm. Everybody do it. How I'm supposed to eat? He said I shouldn't get the food out my teeth. How I'm supposed to do it? Everybody do it. I can't cut. Everybody do it. I see it. I don't know if he watched these kind of videos or not. That's why he don't know. He no. said, mm-mm. All right, so I don't know either. I'm just trying. Trying to do something. And get some likes, comment, subscribe, share. Woo! <laughs> anyway. Yep. I don't know what's up. Corn, crab, something stuck in my teeth, distracting me. Well, I'm sorry, girl. I got. Mm. 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 What? Sausage. Sausage, good. Where you like? King crab and took my appetite. Oh, sorry, y'all. This was water. Good old spigot water. I pay enough for my water bill. I should be able to drink the water. I'm not going out here buying no bottle of water. You want some good old clean water? Boil that water. Let it sit, pour it in some mason jars, and there you have it. Some good old water. I see people out here buying four or five, six cases of bottled water. I'm not doing that. You pay for your water, might as well drink it. If you can. If it's clean water. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Drink your water. I don't know if I'm gonna put this video out. I may, I may not. But um, 
That king crab was thoroughly a disappointment. And it took my appetite away. Took my appetite. But I'm going to tell you something. These Brussels sprouts. This stole the show. Mm-hmm. They stole, oh God. They stole the show. Um, having my Myrtle Beach t-shirt today. Y'all know, I told y'all I love t-shirts. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to head on up out of here. Oh, before I go, let me tell y'all. I need 100 subscribers. If I can get 100, 100 subscribers, I'm going to have a giveaway. I told y'all in my last video that I wasn't going to tell y'all what the giveaway was. Because I thought that was enough incentive. But since it isn't, I'm going to give $100 away. When I get up to 100 subscribers, I will tell you how, well, I will tell you what you need to do to win the, uh, the $100 when I get up to 100 subscribers. Well, I do want y'all to understand if those of you who like my videos, I work a full-time job, so I'm not able to really put videos out like I would like to. So I have to do them on the weekend. And I'm going to be very honest, half of the time I don't feel like eating. So all my videos will not be of seafood. It will be of something that I'm eating that day, be it a cheese steak, a hamburger, tuna fish, or whatever. I don't know. But I will make it worth your while. Again, if you will kindly share, like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a video. I will greatly appreciate it. Thank you all and have a blessed, blessed day. Mm-hmm. So long. I'm done. So long.